Now turn to section two. Section two. You will hear a guide talk about cooking ginger on the radio broadcast. As you listen, answer questions eleven to twenty. First, you will have some time to look at questions eleven to twenty. Now listen carefully and answer questions eleven to fourteen. Hello and welcome to Cooking Corners, and this week we're looking at the most versatile and aromatic of plants, a fairly recent addition to the list of Australian agricultural produce, but nevertheless a great favourite today, ginger. And in the studio to tell us all about it is Jennifer Johnson. Ginger is one of my personal favourite spices, and I've got a number of wonderful recipes to share with you later on in the program. So, what is ginger? Well, actually, it's a spicy-tasting root with an aromatic flavour. It's related to the bamboo family and has a hundred different uses in the kitchen. The Chinese have cultivated it for years, particularly to use in medicine. Though you are probably more familiar with its culinary uses, but first let's take a brief look at its history before we look at how it can be used, because it has a very interesting history. Ginger originated in the southern provinces of China and in India, where it had been used in medicine and food for over five thousand years. The early traders who came upon the plant. Took it to many parts of the world, such as Nigeria, the West Indies, Central America, East Africa, and even Indonesia. Ginger became extremely popular because of its exotic aromatic properties, and was highly valued by spice traders in the 17th and 18th centuries, because they were able to sell it back in Europe for a very good price. Although Australia is now the largest producer of ginger in the world, it wasn't grown in Australia until the early twentieth century. Before Jennifer goes on to explain the history of ginger planting in Australia, you will have another chance to look at questions fifteen to twenty. Now listen to the rest of the talk and answer questions fifteen to twenty. Apparently, some pieces of raw ginger found their way to an area about one hundred kilometers north of Brisbane in Queensland earlier this century. The comparatively high rainfall and humidity in this area produce conditions which are perfect for growing ginger, so it became well established. But in the early days, the relatively high cost of production placed it as a disadvantage in the market, by comparison with the much cheaper ginger produced by other countries with lower production costs. Then, in 1941, the supply of ginger to Australia started to run out. Remember, this was in the middle of the Second World War, when everything was in short supply. This provided a perfect opportunity for the Queensland growers to expand their production and sales. Five local farmers got together and formed a cooperative association in a place called Budurim. They started with only twenty-five pounds between them. That was in the days when Australian currency was pounds, not dollars. So they set up the company with two wooden vats and fourteen tons of raw ginger. But they went on to become the most successful ginger farmers in the world. In fact, nearly all the world's ginger now comes from the Budurim Ginger Factory in Queensland. Forty percent of the production is used in Australia, and the remaining sixty percent is exported overseas to places like Europe, 
North America, South Africa, and even to Asia, where it originated in the first place. So now, let's move on to look at ways of using ginger in the kitchen. That is the end of section two. You now have half a minute to check your answers.